Check this out, folks. Look, I'm not finna fake no funk. I know you'd already seen that thumbnail. That's why you're here. Listen, I do everything on the epic side, and today I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to make. Listen, we finna make a patty milk. Let's go. Okay, folks, look, I want you guys to come on here and take a look at these ingredients right here. Not a whole lot to it, but I wanna start off over here looking at this bread. If you guys can get some bread that's like, you know, baked, not sliced, this gives you the ability to go ahead and cut your slices. If you take a look right here, I got that Texas toast, and look at this right here. Look at the slice. This is finna be epic. And if you didn't already know, I know it's obvious, check it out. We doing it on the griddle. Let's go. All right, so look, the first thing I'm getting ready to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get my bacon, right? Right? Look, when it's at low temperature, you guys finna get a little pro tip. This low temperature kinda like helps it so that it doesn't crinkle up. Check it out, folks. What we gotta do is, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut this down like this, just down the middle, cause we wanna have some onions. All right, so look, once I get it cut like this, now we are gonna go ahead and prep it, right? So what we doing is, we just cut them down like this, right? You wanna have like a sharp blade. I can promise you this one right here is sharp. And if you guys didn't know, when you have sharp tools, that you probably won't cut yourself. It's the dull, dullness is when you cut it, right? So I'm gonna take it and just, you see it kind of like dices itself. It's really like the way that I've done it. And then if I turn it this way, now I just, just like this. All right, folks, look, take a look at that. Remember when I tell you, when you bring the temperature up, look how it is, they not all crinkly. That's because I want them to lay flat on here, right? So I'm just gonna take them here and then we're just gonna flip them. Okay, so look, now that we all diced up, looking good and all of that, right? So don't forget, we gotta like dice these, I mean, we gotta put these on here. And what we're doing is we just wanna grill these. Remember I said earlier, remember imaginary line, this over here is where we do all our cooking, right? So we just go ahead and just add this, just like this. All right, so I'm looking at my bacon. This is about as far as I'm going, right? Still a little bit on the soft side. You guys can cook it down however you want to. If you want yours to be like super crispy, you can do that too. But I just want to show you a masterpiece. These right here, now that's fire. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring this over here like this, right? You know what I mean? Cause we gonna sweat these down. Okay, jalapeno folks. This for all the people to be out there talking to me about, hey, AB, make it spicy. Can you do something like that for me? Look, just take these and cut these down hmm, like that right there. Okay, so look, I got everything, you know, going already. Look, we just gonna go ahead and get these uh, onions down, you know, grilled. I got my, uh, my bacon off to the side. I just cut my jalapenos. I think now would be a good time for me to go ahead and just figure out how much meat. I'm gonna make just, uh, I'm gonna probably use just like a pound. Okay, so look, I'm gonna be using my burger rug. For those of you guys that got it right there, and then if you don't have it, go back, read all of my burgers, and then read the comments. Everybody came back and just talked about how fire it is, right? So, this is it right here. Here's a little bit of a heads up, right? So my griddle got a little bit of uh, a lot of different oils on it right now, but mainly it's got what you saw when I did with the bacon, right? But I'm gonna give you a heads up. I can bring that over here, but that'll prolong my, you know, my cooking time. If you just add just a little bit of water, you know what I mean, like this, then add it around it. We just want to get it steamed up, right? Then I just take it. You see it starting to turn? You see that color right there? This is why most of y'all come here to this channel. It's for that right there. We on our way, folks. I'm gonna go in the house and change my shirt, put a collar on just so I can pop it. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of this here. You know what I mean? I get a little bit of that, that bacon grease, right? And what we do is we just move this around here like this. You know why? Because I'm getting ready to introduce these jalapenos. We're gonna cook these down just a little bit. And you guys do it however you guys like for them to be. But I'm gonna show you my get down, and it's okay. I see the seeds, but don't trip. Okay, so look, now we're getting ready to whip up a little bit of a sauce, right? And look, while you right here, look at the thickness of this bread. Hey, this Texas toast, thick slice. Talk to me, folks. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding, you know, some mayo, a little chili powder, now, look, I'm gonna put a little bit of this Creole kick in here because you know I like that profile. You know what I mean? Just those seasoning, you don't need a whole lot. We ain't trying to turn this into nothing like Cajun, right? But the real binder, check this out right here, folks. Let me go ahead and shake this up. Y'all know what this is? Just that sriracha. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix it all together. Now, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this down, even though it's gonna render, cause that's 80, 20, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, spread my oil around, right? Just, just to get it started, folks. Now I'll grab these, and do you wanna space them out? Cause listen, we gonna smash these, right? So I'm gonna put them here. Okay, so look, we all been taught we don't smash the patties, right? But what I do is I seal it just a little bit. I start it, I wait about 15, about 15 seconds, get myself some wax paper. I got a smasher right here, right? Just happened to be, it's a smoking and grilling, right? So I'll just put this on here like this. We'll start over here and then we'll just go ahead and give it a, a smash. Now that's up to you guys. You, some people like it for it to be like super, super thin. You can do that too. You can make your, you know, your balls, paws, you can make them smaller. But for me, I like them like how you just seen them. You know what I mean? So even though they wide, right? Don't forget, they're gonna have a little bit of shrinkage. So when I get my burgers, you know, get them on, I'm looking at it, it's gonna be time to flip them real soon, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this mayo. We're just gonna run this and get a light little coating on here, right? This is how we gonna toast, folks. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys ever heard of toasting your bread, you know, with mayo. If you haven't, now you know. I promise you, once you try it, you'll come back and be like, man, I really like that better than I like that butter. You guys can like look, you can see as it cooks, it rises up. Obviously it's raw on top because we haven't flipped it, but just giving you guys a heads up. You'll see it cook up all of the juices on the outside. It kind of like comes up, right? So get up underneath the bottom. We just put it over, flip it over like this. Okay, folks, now you got to pay attention to what I'm going to do right here. Look. We went ahead and put the mayo on one side, right? Obviously, we don't have nothing here. But I'm gonna take this and we're gonna start putting, we start just building it up. And we're gonna build this on the grill, right? We want to be nice, hot, buttery, even though that's mayo, nobody gonna be able to tell, right? So if I take this here and I just drop this one right there, you know what I mean? Then we start. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat and do the rest of them, you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna show you what we do next. All right, so after everything is cooked, you know, cooked to right about perfection, right? Now we're just gonna go ahead and add our cheese. Now, we didn't already put some on here, but you know, I always like to add something a little extra. And I tell everybody, look, when you eating a, bur a burger, sandwich, anything like that, and it ain't spilling all, spewing all over your food or your clothes, then you ain't got nothing. So, after I hit it the first time, you can see how thick those are, they kind of like absorb in there. It's a method to the madness, people. You know what I mean? Uh, you just gotta, you gotta trust me. Now, before I do that, now we got sauce, we toasted, right? So look, I'm gonna go ahead, where's my, here's my tongs. We're gonna go ahead and just start adding some jalapenos on here. This is for all you people out here that love to have something to, to say like, man, that ain't really spicy. You know what I mean? Uh, remember the bacon? Remember I tell you it won't be as, how can I say it? It won't be all stiff, I mean all wavy and all of that. We just put it on like this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut that a little bit and try to get three strips on there. Okay, so look, laid the bacon on the top, right? So we got sauce, jalapeno, bacon. You know what we gotta do next, right? We gotta add this on top. Oh, talk to me. I know, <laughs> I know I love saying that because I know it ain't fair. If I had to watch this right now, some of y'all should be going to your, you know, grabbing your keys and running to the store. You know what I mean? And again, you ain't got to make it here. You know, on a griddle, you can always do this on a cast iron skillet or whatever you have, right? But you're getting the gist of it. Let me go ahead and set him up just right. Now, we're gonna come with that meat. Ooh wee. Say it with me, folks. This right here is what? Fire. Look at that cheese. Now we go ahead and put this on the top right here. And that there, my friend, look at that cheese right here. Ho, oh, let me change this shirt so I can make it pop. Hey, you know what, folks? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm catching a lot of flack behind the camera. Everybody saying, hey man, just eat that with the jalapeno. They act like I can't get down. I'm a man, I can do it. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and take this right here. But I, first of all, I'm gonna show y'all. If that ain't it right there, I don't know what it is. Hey, so with that being said, check this out, folks. No over talking, boom. Hey, I don't know what to say. You guys seen it visually, you know, your brain, your brain talks to you. You can see the ingredients. You tell me what you think. Hey, after you make this, please come back and talk to me down in the comment section below. Hey, with that being said, 
I'm going to be reading all of the comments. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. Check this out. There's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm going to go ahead and take this single one right here, keep this to myself before I get back on the grill. And guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace. Thank you.